And that's something that I don't think I've ever heard anybody else ever talk about. And when you think about it, you feel foolish for not thinking about <laughs> that factor, right? You don't hear people talking about this very often. And that's why you got to buy guns and control and hop on gunfacts.info so you could hear this stuff. Have you run any numbers dealing with magazine capacity restrictions? I love you, Michael. You you feed into like <laughs> one of my favorite studies that we've ever done. Right. <laughs> um, magazine capacity really doesn't make a difference. You walk in with a 30 round magazine and there's five people in the venue. Tops are you're going to get five people. You walk into a venue where there's 50 people, but it's wide open spaces, plenty of exits, plenty of things behind behind. You might get 10 people. But if you do something like the Las Vegas country music shooting, where they squeeze just under 22,000 people into a space designed for 22,000 people, takes no marksmanship skills whatsoever. You just point a gun towards the mass people, keep pulling the trigger. That's the difference. Magazine capacity makes no difference. Venue selection makes all the difference. Well, if this person could never get a gun, then they wouldn't have been able to kill themselves. Criminologists and psychologists both use the same term. It's called substitution of means. In other words, if you can't kill yourself doing it one way, you do it another way. The Hemlock Society, now out of business, used to print a handbook every year on how to kill yourself. Uh, no. there's, yeah. <laughs> and there's a website out there right now. I forgot the name of it, but they they present themselves as, oh, we are a suicide prevention. But they go to all these elaborate details to tell you exactly <laughs> which type of plastic bag to use if you want to suffocate yourself. <laughs> If you haven't checked it out, you've got to check out the book Guns and Control. Guns and Control by Guy Smith. He's the founder of Gun Facts Project. That's gunfacts.info. Guns and Control is a nonpartisan guide to understanding mass public shootings, gun accidents, crime, public carry suicides, defensive use, and more.